Welcome to this edition of Tornado Watch. I am King, Sports Information Director Travis Chell here with Josh Thompson, head women's basketball coach. Thanks for joining us today. No problem. Uh, just about time for another basketball season here. Last year, had a great year, finished 29, best Division II record since joining uh, NCAA Division II. What's the motivation of the team been here early on, trying to improve that and go farther in the postseason as it ended, I guess, kind of early last year? Yeah, well, I think everybody was disappointed that we, we had that early ending last year um, at home. So everybody's motivated by that and wants to, uh, you know, get back out there and get ready and hopefully make a, make a little bit deeper run next year. Yeah, have you been able to see anything in the preseason so far, having practices, um, where that's kind of led to a little motivation from the older players that were here last year? I mean, they're just coming, you know, and working hard every day. Um, that's the main thing, you know. It's uh, it's like anybody else, a day-to-day -day thing, that process, that grind that we all have to have to go through, and um, you know, just uh, just fighting hard. So. Yeah. How has the practices gone? Um, and scrimmages, exhibitions. Is there anyone that kind of caught your eye here early early on? Um, yeah. I mean, we we've had some injuries, so uh, you know, some people have gotten some opportunities early. A couple of the freshmen. Um, Sheena Johnson, Kristen Couples have gotten some some early action because uh, of injuries. Um, they've both done done well, um, but we are we're getting a little bit healthier at this point. So uh, we're we're hoping to be closer to full strength. Um, you know, we, we won't be by by opening opening game, but uh, but hopefully we get get more people back so yeah and, and going into that depth thing a little bit it, you got experience from last year lose a few key players but still the, the majority of five six players that got a lot of minutes last year are, are coming back um you mentioned the freshmen getting minutes early how how do you think that experience helps you as a coach and will help as the season progresses to get different people in there well it's just good for us um to have that flexibility because you never know when when people might you know get injured whether it be a major injury and somebody's out for the season or just the, the little tweaks that, that people get from time to time where they miss a game here or a couple games there. Um, just being able to plug people in uh, is always uh, an advantage. So um, we're thankful to be able to do that. Yeah, and going forward this weekend more specifically, season starts Friday, Saturday at Tusculum. Face Mars Hill on Friday night at 6 p.m. Saturday against Tusculum uh, at 4 p.m. What's the expectation? What are you looking for here out of the opening weekend and then going forward? Well, our, our expectation is always to win. Um, we feel like um, that we should be able to do that every time we step on the floor. So, um, so that's the expectation. Um, that being said, we got two tough teams this weekend that are going to be um, out there wanting to win just as bad as us. So, um, you know, opening weekend is always kind of rough. You know, I mean, you don't have much to go on as far as the other teams, but um, you know, I'm, I'm sure they're going to be ready to play, and, and we'll we'll have to be ready to play too. And it's always nice to play somebody else other than your having practiced for so long, I would see someone else. It's, yeah, It's always definitely. exciting for, for everybody involved. Mm -hmm. uh, live stats, live video will be pro provided by Tusculum. Those links, kingtornado.com. Uh, thanks for joining us, and good luck this weekend. All right, thank you.